that the goal is that you buy, you know, by with J Builder, you'll realize ten times the benefit that you're paying, you know, re, or the value that you're that you're paying or subscribing to for it. So with JBuilder, what are the open source components we've we've included? There's over 25 different open source projects. Um, we these are projects that we sat down when we started the when we started working with JBuilder. We said we wanted to build it with 100% open source projects and tools ourselves. So we chose the tools that we wanted to use and that we felt were the best to breed in in open source uh, today. And uh, we've taken you know a wide variety of them: uh, QA Lab, LiveFray, Subversion. Uh, access, uh, of course, Eclipse is a plat as a as a as a core platform, uh, and a wide variety of them. And we'll hear a lot more about how these different open source um, projects play inside of JBuilder throughout the day. How JBuilder really stacks up is that we've you know in the past we've had the prime time platform as our as our underlying platform. Well, obviously now um, in JBuilder the new plat we've uh, taken out the the prime time platform. We've put in the Eclipse platform. This is the second time we've done a platform shift. The first one was uh, in JBuilder 3.5 to 4.0, uh, and, and 4.0 we moved from the Delphi platform to the Primetime platform. Um, this is the third shift, and this is from the Primetime platform to the Eclipse platform. Now, just as the, some of the key benefits of just being on the on the Eclipse platform is that now any open source or uh, or commercial vendor that's built that builds their solution to plug into Eclipse, you now have um, out of the box integration with those, so um, it, it no longer has to be a Code Gear partner that's building a prime time plugin. Now it can be any off the shelf uh, vendor or any you know any solution out there that uh, that plugs into Eclipse. And if you you know Google and or uh, if you Google, you'll find you know thousands of these. Um, but you know more and more any any vendor out there that's providing a solution, it doesn't even have to be a, a developer solution. It could be a CRM solution. Or a uh, you know, or a uh, sales you know, sales management solution, um, you know, or a beta testing solution, um, will you know likely has a uh, an Eclipse either it is an Eclipse plugin or has an Eclipse plugin option. Um, so this really opens your environment up to a completely you know a much bigger ecosystem of uh, of things that you can put in either in open source or from commercial vendors. But on top of that. We've integrated, uh, you know, we've integrated application server development functionality, um, at both um, functionality that we've had in JBuilder, and we've also taken it kind of the next to the next step. Um, we have app server fun um, support for all of the uh, all of the, the traditional JBuilder app, you know, commercial vendors, uh, IBM, Oracle, Sun, BEA, Borland. Uh, we've at, now we have also have uh, JBoss, JBoss and the uh, Glass the Glassfish ref, reference implementation. Um, we've added now a, a an EJB transform engine that allows you to seamlessly migrate between EJB two and EJB three, uh, also between different application servers. So you can take an EJB developed for one app server and move it into you know move it across app servers. Um, and we've done all that seamlessly. They'll, we'll talk about it more in detail later. Um, but this is to help you really get your projects moving forward to the latest, uh, latest, the latest platform. This is also uh, the first JBuilder to support JEE5, the latest, uh, you know, the latest um, Java, you know, Java Enterprise platform. And probably one of the things that the most exciting things is that we've taken our live source engine, um, which pow today powers Java Live Source, which is your class, you know, the kind of your class view and modeling. Uh, of live source in JBuilder, and we've uh, built a completely new RAD cockpit for that, um, for building, uh, for doing two-way EJB development. Um, so EJB Live Source provides you with a RAD EJB development uh, development experience, um, which is completely new. Now on top of the application server functionality, we have team uh, team development capabilities, and the two key pieces there are project assist and team insight. Um, what we've did, what we, our goal with this uh, this area was to um, was twofold. One was on the project assist side was to help you as an organization uh, as a team define and you know con define your uh, your tool stack con and configure your um, tool stack and create that configuration and then share that amongst the team members. We found that it can take anywhere from two days to two weeks to get a to get a uh, a full team system um, you know set up and configured. Uh, using open source parts and, and on Eclipse, 
And what we, our goal with Project Assist is to let the team configure their, their environment and share that with a one-click install that, you, that any developer can do and can uh, set up with a single click in 10 minutes. Um, so essentially, we've given you the ability now to manage and configure your, uh, your, all of your life cycle, your open source and eventually commercial uh, life cycle tools, and then share that across your team very easily. Um, and then Team Insight provides the integration between them. So what Team Insight does is it turns, you know, if you're using five or six different, uh, you know, life cycle role uh, or tasks like uh, project management and bug tracking and source code control and continuous builds, what Team Insight does is it integrates those together so that they're not, they're not siloed or individual tools, that they become one life cycle process. And, that, uh, and it also provides a, a portal, and a, um, both portal and management, in, um, into that life cycle so that you can, as a team and as an individual, you can see the health of a project, what the status of a project, um, what my individual uh, tasks are for the day, what my bugs are. Um, so and all of these different tools now are sharing information between them, and they do that through a Team Insight. It's a very powerful life cycle solution to help you work, you know, help your team work, uh, work better together and faster together. And of course, uh, it wouldn't be JBuilder without RAD capabilities. So we've we've brought uh, our live, you know, Java Live Source forward. Uh, we also have uh, a web services, or we call SOA Live Source, which is our web visual web services uh, development that's based on our Live Source engine as well. Uh, audits and metrics. Um, together, all the together capabilities, uh, the best profiling out there, and optimize it, and all of our refactoring capabilities as well. So, all of the rapid application development features that uh, you would um, expect to see in uh, in JBuilder. So, to bring it back to the you know the, uh, we, we you know back to you know back and sum it up is that we've really built it on these three th you know on these three core principles: velocity, balance, and confidence. To help, you know, velocity to help you as an individual or a team develop faster and more productively uh, with Java and with open source technologies, and balance to help you balance to inter integrate and balance open source with your uh, commercial vendor uh, application servers, uh, and then co the, really the confidence to use, you know, to use and implement open source. And that was really a key thing that we, when we really talked to a lot of you know organizations over the last uh, you know couple of years, is that they need. There's a lot of promise and a lot of value and a lot of desire to adopt these these technologies, um, but uh, organizations wanted the confidence. They wanted a trusted vendor to go to. Uh, they wanted to know that it was a tested a tested and integrated solution, and they wanted to know that they would be successful implementing um, and realizing the benefits of open source. So we really aimed at you know in, uh, building an environment and a product that would give it an organization the confidence to use open source and to implement with open source. So again, you know, this is what uh, we, you know, in our in, in talking to de developers uh, in teams over the last couple of years, this is the experience that we've that we uh, that we found um, that you know chaos, you know chaos, uh, you know complex configuration. Um, teams that were not working, you know, that were not uh, working in concert, and loss of individual productivity. And our goal is really to uh, bring, you know, basically bring open source and Eclipse back into what the vision we have for our development teams to help them de develop in concert, to give that, to to give you that seamless plug-in capability and, and integrated co um, capabilities that we desire with, uh, you know, and envision for open source and for Eclipse. And help our teams and our individual and our individuals um, develop at a higher productivity level with a higher velocity.